Is evaluation scientific if it doesn't involve controlled before and after comparisons? And, and I have to say I've been waging this argument from one side for, for, for 30 years now. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd go at it in several ways. And, uh, the, the, the first one is, is to actually consider the, the scientific pedigree of, of randomised controlled tri trials. Uh, and if you look at the history of, of, of science, what you'll find is that uh, across the board in the mainstream physical and natural scientists, sciences, there are very few randomised controlled trials. Randomised controlled trials actually occupy a little corner of, of, of science. So they began in agricultural society and then found their way into, into clinical science. Uh, but so there are experiments, and experiments are fine, but they need to be understood in a slightly different way from the idea of the controlled comparison. Uh, if, if you want to understand uh, gravity and how, it, how it's worked, you, you, you don't, how gravity works, you don't do it with an RCT. That is, you don't drop the cannonball from the Leaning Tower of Pisa and compare its motion to a cannonball that's not been dropped. Uh, it's just not a way of, 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 of beginning uh, uh, experimentation. My next answer requires you to read a bit of, of text, and I, I've dug out a quotation from, from Chen and Rossi. The domination of the experimental paradigm in program evaluation literature has unfortunately drawn attention from the more important task in gaining understanding of social programs, namely developing theoretical models of, of, of interventions. And here's the punchline. A very de a, a seductive and attractive feature of controlled experiments is that, is that it's not necessary to understand how a program works in order to estimate its net, net effects through randomized controlled uh, uh, experiments. Rossi is, is one of the founding fathers of experimental evaluation. He's done some gorgeous, brilliant uh, R R R R RCTs, uh, and yet he finds them wanting in, in, in this respect. So it's worth going back to that claim and, and working through it a, a, a little bit more. What he's saying, because he's a supporter of the RCT, is that, that before and after studies, uh, studies with experimental and control groups are very good at answering one question, but one question only. Did it work here? Did it work in the here and now? But if, if, if you go back to what I've talked about before, programs sometimes work, sometimes they don't work, they work here, they don't work there, they have winners and losers. So that one experiment tells you nothing about the next trial and the next trial and the next trial. And if you only do the experiment, you don't know why. The experiment has got before and after measures, policy on, policy off, and that's all it tells you about. Uh, there's no explanation of why residing in the, in the, in, in the experiment. So with Rossi, I, I agree that the why question is prior to the does it work question. One little caveat, um, in, in saying that, um, some people have, have rather thought I wanted to ab ab abandon uh, before and after measures. That's just not the, the, the case. Realist evaluation is, is desperately interested in outcomes as, as well, but it assumes patterned outcomes, variation in outcomes. So it doesn't assume that we're interested in one outcome, does it work or not. Uh, we're interested in multiple outcomes and, the, and variation over, over multiple outcomes. How does realist evaluation help with a cumulative understanding of how things work? And why does evaluation not already do this? Okay, let's, let's take the last question uh, first. The, the problem is this. It's to do with the commissioning of, of, of evaluation. What happens is policymakers come up with a new idea, sometimes not such a new, new, new idea, but it's branded as a new, uh, a, a new solution to an old problem. And there are stream after streams of these new programs that, 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 that come along. So the natural commissioning structure of evaluation is program comes along, new programs comes along, it needs evaluating, attach evaluator, 
uh, and see, and seek to discover what what's what's the uh, result. So this is the crucial thing that evaluation and like any other science I know always starts from scratch so whatever the new pro pro program is uh, uh, the evaluator starts assuming that there's never been a program that future programs don't influence it the, the, the task is to deal with the current program in the here and now so I did a lot of reviewing of, of of, of previous evaluations of, of existing programs and you'll find that they're entirely disconnected so evaluator A will, will make no uh, comment, no use of what evaluator B has had to, 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 to say about it. Uh, so what's, what's the resolution? The, the resolution is to do with program theory evaluation so, so what this says it agrees that all programs are unique so the new one coming off the block will, will never have, have been implemented in quite that way before. So that much is true. All programs are unique. But what, what's not true is that all program theories are unique. In fact, program theories are rather boring and repetitive. Uh, they, they, um, they're, they're, they're transferable. They crop up over and over and over again and so th this this is the source of, of, of accumulation um, there's, there's, a, there's a nice phrase that um, um, I, sorry I can't remember the the, the author uh, but the, the the little catchphrase is this that there are only three social programs not godzillions of them but three uh, and the three program theories are carrots sticks and sermons so all, all policy making, the argument in a rather exaggerated, exaggerated way goes, is a variation on, uh, on, on those. So anyway, this gives you a different starting point. If you start with program theory, you'll find out that the same ideas are tried out in subtly different circumstances. And if you trawl through the different evaluations, in those different circumstances, you'll try, you, you, you end up building up a picture of, of what works for whom in what circumstances.